first thing I must um, just acknowledge um, Hilton Ward from my team. This is actually his presentation, and unfortunately I couldn't twist my boss um, hard enough to get him down here as well, so I feel we'll see Hilton next time. So, again, linking really nicely from some previous talks, the, we've got this wealth of data, and we've got tools like RamGIS, and so this Hilton is our customer service. He sits inside our writing team, and he um, takes, does, deals with a lot of the customer requests, the customer calls. Um, he's not a frontline customer service. We have a separate department, obviously, at the council, but in the writing department, he looks after that. So we want some big thumbs up from our customers. The challenge, we've got lots and lots of data and all sorts of information from what's coming up, what's been, what do we have, what don't we have. It just goes on and on. And the answer may be hidden away in some mega file, and we've got to find that right in the moment, right moment of time, to be able to answer the customer's query. So just stepping back slightly, operations excellence. So there's a number of areas, and this you'll see in this talk, it covers, there's a number of these areas that have to be dealt with to assist what seems like a simple thing to answer a query from a customer. So what did we use? This is our internal GIS viewer at Fongare. Good old Google Maps. Hilton loves Street View. Spreadsheets, spreadsheets and spreadsheets. Now, RAM is not shown here because Hilton is not a RAM user. So we gave him access and he was starting to dabble. So he was, it's not here formally, but he was starting to play in that space. But we'll get to that in a minute. Telephone, he did a lot of phoning, ringing the team, what is this, what's happening here, shouting across the office, what do you know about this? So that's the old way. And that was pretty much what Hilton thought. Now along came RamGIS, sounds familiar, doesn't it? So very quickly, maps, street views, Google aerials, got our assets in there, full range, varying quality. But then the interesting thing is we've, now we've got Ford X program, Nomad, it's been mentioned. We've got our works management because we've, the talk that Scott gave, um, we've got our maintenance data going through there and obviously our resales data going through there now as well. So this is our dispatches, um, a variety by different asset type. Even simple things like contract areas, actually where are the boundaries? So we produced this one up just to make it really easy to understand which roads that belong to which contract. So some real examples. Karma Road is the worst in town. It's full of potholes between Mainz and King. So pretty regular type of question from a customer. Um, so Eldon was able to check the maintenance, looking at the dispatches, what have, have we done? And then also look at what's programmed to be done. Then he can also look at the Ford Works side of it. So maintenance, but also the longer term work. Now the one catch of that comment, it's got staff already, is budget issues have meant that actually we're now doing it next year, not this year. <laughs> so uh, still can't get it quite right, which means we've got to coach our people to say it is likely to occur this year. So um, that is a tough. Your culvert is blocked and it's causing my driveway to scour. It's all our fault. So in Ram Joe's, we could find the culvert. That was great, good start. Uh, we could check out on the maps, looking down the road. Down, now in this case, the contractor actually went out to, to look and couldn't find it. So on the phone, Hilton was able to work through, talk with the customer, identify the location, confirm that we do know about it. And what ended up happening was actually the, the culvert had been fully blocked with gravel over time, so you just couldn't see it. Water coming from your road, causing problems in my land. Again, another common one. So it's really quite good. Elton used his initiative on this and said even from the old photography, he could tell that there was, you know, we could find the culvert and he could tell there was a green strip on their land. So he could quite easily see there was a, quite a lush area, an overflow. So looking at street view, 
we can actually see the side drains going to a point. So when he then talked to the customer and discussed this, then he realised that, in fact, there used to be an open drain in the customers, and then they developed it and they filled it in. Our culvert, if I remember rightly, was a, a 300, and they put a 200 in on their side. So again, we're able to close it because it's their problem. Best type of closing a serum request you can get. <laughs> grey one for unsealed roads. Ages. I never see a greater. It's terrible. There's lots of potholes. So again, information that, that our customer guy can have. When were they there last? When are they planning to be? What's our programs going forward? Answer it straight away. Giveaway signs. Can we have one? That's a pretty good question. It's a bit of a safety issue. So, interestingly though, get on the RAM GIS, look up the assets. Wait a minute, RAM says we have got a sign. Now the big thing with this is the difference between if you had a sign or a new sign. Now if it's a new sign, there's a whole bunch of processes to go through and council approvals and all sorts of stuff. Because we found that it already existed and it just disappeared somehow, then instantly get the contractor out there, fixed, done. Just reduce the time, quicker, easier response to the customer. Maintenance end signs. So again, a, a good one. This one's got an interesting one where, again, we could use a street view. We could see the asset was showing up, which is that little um, circle beneath the, the blue cone. And street view showed a maintenance end sign. So that was quite good. The only catch, though, was where it was showing in the street view was quite different to where the asset was showing. So in fact, that one came straight back to my team, which was your asset's in the wrong location. So now we can fix the asset location to reflect the true location, and which is quite a critical issue when you're trying to convey this information out to the contractors about where you're meant to stop your maintenance work. So those are just some quick examples. Going forward, we just got to, you know, some goals there's more data out there. We want to keep making this available. Um, Hilton's kind of this hub of this development. Uh, we've got other people like Marit, who's, who's in charge of now taking these ideas and then feeding that back into standardized GIS layers um, and then training and rolling that out to the wider team. So we've got people in the roading team that are saying to use RAM GIS that have never even seen GIS, um, RAM before. We may have given them a login, but it was a struggle to get them past that. So. RAMGIS is opening the opportunity to share our data big time in a really usable format. Which is really about you proving that use. So again, training, competency, as mentioned again today, really important. And I guess our long-term goal is, is eventually to feed this information back to our frontline customer services team. Elton's saying to make a lot more resolutions on the phone. So once we've established that process well, understand the data, understand how it's used, then we can pass that back to our customer services team and start training them so that they can start resolving these calls at first contact with our customers. So just one example of extra data from outside of our traditional sources. So here we are in RAMGIS with live 1 to 50,000 contour lines from LINS. So LINS have a data service that you can all sign up for free. And uh, if you don't already know, then you can go to RAM and get understand how to go and add that. It's very easy. And instantly you've got other data. So there's um, another example of what we're doing is um, where's a different system for corridor management. And so we're doing, looking at that two way. We're getting information out of RAM into a corridor management system. And we're looking at bringing all our corridor requests and information back into RAMGIS. RAMGIS is our focal point to see all our information. Really cool point. One source, what was that acronym earlier? One source of the truth. Single source, fantastic. So just wrapping up, um, benefits, we can do it from our desk. More and more, using our data, using the tools, we can work from our desk and give top quality resolution. 
It's faster. We don't have to wait for inspectors or contractors to go out and investigate the, as many of the situations. And we get a thumbs up from the customer. It may not always be the answer they want, but we can now talk to them in such an intelligent way and we're at an understanding by looking at images, aerials, we're actually talking about their property in their language because we can see that from the tools. Big on quality management, Adam's talk today. And so again, really ticking key boxes here, improving the quality of our work and improving the efficiency. And that's really come as the key goals that have been driven through the industry at the moment through REG and task force is how are we doing a better job, quality, and how are we getting more efficient to deliver the maximum value for money? Thank you.